Good evening, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Timberlane Regional High School Class of 2010. Please join me in applauding District Music Director Mr. Anthony DeBartolomeo and the Timberlane Graduation Ensemble for their performance of Pomp and Circumstance. It is my privilege to be joined on this stage by the following members of the Timberlane School Board. Board Chairperson, Mrs. Liz Costa, Assistant Chair, Mrs. Lori Aubrey, Mr. Michael Miscola, Mrs. Liz Lisa Withy, Mr. Jack Paoni, Mr. Robert Collins, and Nancy Steetson. Also joining me are Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Richard LaSalle, Assistant Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Winfried Fenneberg, and Director of Secondary Education, Mr. Scott Strange. We will begin the program by calling to the podium National Honor Society member, Molly Lane. Molly will read the invocation. Today, we gather together for the last time as the graduating class of 2010. We have gone through a lot together, and now we prepare to go our separate ways, accompanied only by the knowledge we have gained in our years at Timberlane. Each one of us has been blessed with a gift. Some have spent their high school years searching for their gift and pursuing it. Others have been aware of it for quite some time now, and still others are headed off next year in pursuit of their own gifts. If we can all take these gifts that we have been graciously given and turn them into our passions, we will succeed and find our places in this world. So if you've already found yours, pursue it. And if you are headed off in search of yours, find it. For when you do, you will be truly blessed. May God bless us all this evening and as we begin the next chapters of our lives. Thank you, Molly. Now please rise as Senior Wesley Grew leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag for the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as the senior members of the Select Ensemble perform our national anthem.
What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, send us that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Mr. Harrington, and thank you, select members. Please be seated. Presenting the welcoming address this evening is the President of the Student Council, Ms. Sarah Matson. Sarah? Faculty, administrators, school board members, Superintendent Mr. LaSalle, friends and family, we are happy to have you here this evening to participate and share in the Congress of 2010. Thank you for coming to celebrate our accomplishments with us. Your presence here serves as a reminder of how important our work and efforts have been. Another term for the word commencement is beginning, and that's exactly what tonight's commencement is, the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. There will be countless opportunities in the future that can be achieved through hard work and determination. It will always be important to never settle less for what we are capable of. The mission of our class tonight is to proudly accept our diplomas as tokens of our hard work and dedication to our academics over the past four years. We will listen to speeches from fellow classmates as they reflect upon their past years here at Timberlane. Let us listen intently to the words of advice delivered by our classmates. As we continue on from here, our goals will continue to develop and change. Our personalities will broaden and mature, but we will, at times, remember our years at Timberlane and the people we have interacted with have helped to shape who we are today. Even though we are moving outside these familiar walls, we will always remember our days as owls. It will be in our character to offer our best, work cooperatively, live responsibly, and speak and act respectfully. Oprah Winfrey once said, I've come to believe that each of us has a personal calling that's as unique as a fingerprint, and that the best way to succeed is to discover what you love and then find a way to offer it to others in the form of service, working hard, and also allowing the energy of the universe to lead you. I want to say once more, on behalf of the class of 2010, welcome to our graduation ceremony. Class of 2010, you will be remembered for your significant talent and your generous spirit. Statistics tell some of your story. 42 members of this class will graduate with a 4.0 or better. And at the same time, our high school dropout rate has diminished to less than 1%. 89% of you who went through day division will continue your education either in the United States military or at two or four year colleges or universities. This class produced 375 graduates. 36 graduates attended the evening division full time 
And of those, all eight who studied in the GED option, that program, which helps students who have struggled get a second chance, earned a, a Timberlane diploma. There are other indicators that demonstrate that the prospects for this class are indeed great. We continue to garner respect at Timberlane for the excellence in the arts. Once again, in 2010, Timberlane musicians led the way, claiming the most seats of all New Hampshire schools on all state choral, orchestral, and band groups. Together, together with the tremendously successful Timberlane players, our musicians collaborated on a brilliant musical, Beauty and the Beast, which was one of 12 spellbinding theatrical shows presented by Mr. Eric and Stantonos troops, the Timberlane players, and the Milkmen. In the fine arts, numerous students participated in the PTSA-sponsored Reflections Competition. Supported by art and humanities teachers, Timberlane students won a majority of the state-level awards for their work. This year, Timberlane students and staff garnered national recognition for documentary film production as the Blind Squirrel Productions prepared and presented a tribute to the city of Berlin, New Hampshire, celebrating its unique history and culture. What speaks loudest of this year's class is its ongoing support of humanitarian causes and individual and community needs. There are many examples of this. The girls' soccer team raised money to support a student from an opponent's school who was battling leukemia. The field hockey team collected donations for cancer research and to support a community member who had been in an accident. Milkmen, our theatrical comedy club, donated the revenue from their gate receipts of over $4,000 to various causes, most recently to fund breast cancer research. There you go. <laughs> Mealy's Meals provided over $8,000 this year to support local families in need. This spring, over $6,000 were raised with a student-run fashion show, Strut for a Cure, which also went to breast cancer research. The senior class collaborated to support Eagles Wings Children's Village, a fundraising effort introduced by senior Stella Zarolidis, who, with the help of her classmates, organized a concert and donated the proceeds and a sizable senior class contribution to support construction and operation of a Ugandan orphanage. Each of our honor societies, as part of the high school's newly adopted service learning expectation, contributed time and money to benefit worthy causes. Seniors from our athletic teams worked with the students of the elementary schools and at the middle school in the district to encourage reading and appreciation for poetry. Big Buddy, Little Buddy program was again a huge, huge hit with the elementary students. The list goes on. Throughout their four years, the class of 2010 exceeded their civic and social expectations. We are proud and appreciative of that effort. In their last gesture, in lieu of a school gift, this class gave an additional $2,000 to Mealy's Meals. Thank you. In athletics, the seniors contributed to our high levels of participation, excuse me, participation and success. The success was most evident in field hockey and wrestling. The girls won the school's first ever state championship in field hockey, and a third consecutive New England title was won by the wrestling team. We had numerous athletes win all state honors in their sports. Our most notable individual honors went to Tufts University bound Emily Cannon, who was the Manchester Union Leader New Hampshire Player of the Year and a regional All-American. And United States Military Academy at West Point appointee, senior Alex Smith, who earned All-American status in wrestling. <laughs> Alex is one of 13 Timberlane students who have chosen to defend our nation through military service in one branch or another, or another which is very commendable in this time of world crisis. So would all those people who are serving our nation next year please stand and be recognized. Our staff has continued to garner accolades. We have seen our wrestling coach, Mr. Barry Children, named the National High School Coach of the Year by the National Coaches Association. We have seen Mim Ryan, our field hockey coach, selected as Coach of the Year after their undefeated championship season. Our student council advisor, Mrs. Jennifer Libby Barth, was named the Northeast Regional Advisor of the Year by the National Student Council. 
I want to thank all of this wonderful faculty and staff, not only of the high school, but of all the district schools for contributing to the education of these students before me who are wishing I'd be finished with this speech about now. <laughs> Indeed, all of us in the four proud towns of Timberlands community have a great deal to be celebrating here today, a successful year and this remarkable graduating class. Thank you. At this time, it is my pleasure to call to the stage our class essayist, Amber Legassi, to deliver her commencement address. Amber? I stand before you today, someone different than I was when I first arrived here at Timberlane. Over the last four years, I've grown as an individual to become the person I am today, just as I've seen happen with all of you. We have more than ourselves to thank for who we have become. Our teachers, our family, and our friends have helped us to grow as well. And through our own unique experiences, we have grown and matured to prepare us for the life that lies ahead. We have had our successes, and we have had our failures, and we will continue to have them in the future. This is not what I think, but what I know. This is a part of life. Please make the most of your time, because there is no way to get back the time you've lost. Don't wait another moment to do something you can do now. Even if it seems so trivial now, later on, it might be one of the most important things you've ever done. I know for me, that moment was trying out for drum major. At first, it was something I was interested in doing and that people wanted me to try. Now, it's one of the biggest parts of my life and I'm so appreciative for all the opportunities it has given me. I'm the proud mother hen of 123 band kids and a more responsible individual who is always there when someone needs my help. As trivial as it seemed back then, being a drum major has given me a part of my life that I otherwise would not have had. And frankly, I cannot imagine my life without it. A friend of mine once told me, you shouldn't regret. At first, I thought he was wrong. Now, I think he's right. Regretting only holds you back from doing something great. I've learned this lesson myself, and I cannot tell you how important it is to follow. Forget about what you did or didn't do in the past. It's made you who you are, and that's more important than what might have been. Class of 2010, live your life how you'd like. You'd always remember to work hard for what you want. For it is ultimately you who decides what will and will not happen with your life. So, good luck with everything you do, and have fun. Thank you. Those were fantastic words of advice. Now, to deliver the sal salutatorian's address, I'm proud to call to the stage Miss Emily Cannon. Emily? Well, the day we have been waiting for has finally arrived. We're graduating. I know when I was a freshman, graduation looked so far away, even at the beginning of senior year too, but not anymore. We are now going out into the world, whether to the services, college, or a full-time job, we aren't gonna have high school to, st to hide in. For me, high school was a time when I changed a lot. I started off as a freshman who was shy and to be honest, only had a few close friends. Over the years, I have come to learn to be myself, and people who want to be friends with me will. Now that it's senior year, I have many more close friends, and I act like myself 
and don't try to be anybody else. Now you might ask what prompted this change in me. Well, I'll tell you, I found my passions. My passions come from my experiences and the people that I met along the way. My first passion comes from school. This is one of history. I have always been interested in history. It fascinates me why and how things happen, and it makes me want to dig deeper until I find whatever comes to the surface. My other passion in school is math. I don't necessarily love math, but I am good at it, and it is interesting to me. These two passions are fueling what I am doing for the rest of my life, which is architecture. Architecture incorporates math in the calculations of the side and space used. The history comes into play when you discover your inspiration for what you are creating because the inspiration is from a historical building. Though I only have these two passions in school, it does not mean that these are the only two passions I have. I learned that while I was at school, it's not all about school. It's about finding co-curricular activities after school as well. Not all ac extracurricular activities have to be sports, even though it's the first thing many people think of. Activities can be clubs as, clubs as well. But for me, the majority of my co-curricular activities were sports like field hockey, winter track, lacrosse, and the Student Athlete Leadership Council. From just playing field hockey, I discovered I have a passion for it. And it also helps to win the 2009 Field Hockey State Championship and have a perfect season of 17 and 0. But even if we didn't win, I would still love it because I enjoy playing that much. I found my passions of field hockey and architecture by combining what I love and what I'm interested in. And these are the two zeals that are carving out my path for the future. But don't always look to the future. Enjoy your passion and what it gives you in the present. As world-renowned author J.K. Rowling once said, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. So once you follow your passion, don't always look forward. Don't always look forward. Enjoy what you can from it right now. Class of 2010, as you venture out into the world, you have to realize that you can't find your passion on eBay or by Googling it. It comes from something you love doing. You can't just say one day, hey, today I'm going to go find my passion. It can be from anything, from collecting wooden stakes when you're a bus driver driving a constitutional law class, to teaching calculus and sometimes a little bit of Polish. Once you find what you love doing, you will truly understand who you are and what matters to you. When you find your passion, you will make those friends who will last for the rest of your life. For some of you, you might have already found what you love doing and friends you will have for life. But for the rest of you, you are still on that quest. All I have to say for people who are trying to find their passion, don't try so hard. Just start trying new things and having fun because that's when you will truly discover what you love. Once you find this passion, be true to it because once you do this, you will find people who appreciate the same things and create strong bonds with the commonality. And when you find your passion, run with it and enjoy it and make your life happy and satisfying. As creator of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in Toy Story, Yoss Whedon once said, Passion lies in all of us, sleeping, waiting, and though unwanted, unbidden, it will stir. Open its jaws and howl. It speaks to us, guides us, passion rules us all, and we obey. What other choice do we have? Passion is the source of our finest moments. If we could live without passion, maybe we'd know some kind of peace but we would be hollow, empty rooms shuttered and dank. Without passion, we'd be truly dead. Remember, class of 2010, as you go out into the world, always, be, always follow your passion and be true to yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Now, I'd like to call to the stage our senior valedictorian, Shannon Legassi, who will deliver the valedictory address. my own copy. All right.
It was hard to write a graduation <laughs> cliche, and yet I must admit that graduation is a large milestone in each of our lives. Today marks the progression from adolescence into adulthood <laughs> and is certainly a transition into the rest of our lives. Though we will all be leaving here headed towards different futures, all of our lives will remain full of choices and the next few years will only begin to introduce us to a world full of possibilities and responsibilities. These years will also be a time when we receive a lot of advice from others, whether we want it or not. So let me be the first. If you get to choose when you wake up and when you go to sleep, make sure you're sleeping enough. Adequate sleep will help you think straight and save you the embarrassment of drooling on your arm in science class. Give of yourself freely without expecting anything in return. Try your hardest to see the good in people. Find out what makes you happy in life and do that. Don't be that guy who's just in it to win it. No amount of money or success will bring you the same amount of happiness as a career that you are genuinely passionate about. Your dream job won't necessarily be your first job, most likely not the second or the third. I'm sure we didn't all plan on working at Market Basket at the age of 40. Don't be afraid to quit a job that makes you unhappy because you're unsure of where you'll end up. Sometimes the period in between careers is as priceless on the look on your boss's face when you say, you know what, I quit and I never really did like your tie. Never stop learning. <laughs> Don't be afraid to try something new. Go vegan. The planet, the animals, the environment, and Ellen DeGeneres will thank you. <laughs> Smile, it's your best asset. Forget the question, does this make me look fat? or any variation of the sort. Everyone here is beautiful. Do what you want to do instead of what's expected of you. As we can all see, my speech is not about anything in particular except for little pointers I think you might find useful in the future. Like, recycle. There are signs on the bins and a little triangle with arrows. They're usually green. But most importantly, guys, develop an optimistic mindset. One of my favorite authors, Wayne Dyer, once said, when you change the th way you look at things, the things you look at change. Remember that the future that lies ahead of each and every one of us is as beautiful as it is complex. Welcome it with open arms. Congratulations. Good luck in class of 2010. Peace out. It is my pleasure at this time to welcome to the microphone high school guidance director, Mr. Barry Chuljan, to introduce our academic awards. It is my pleasure to invite our top three academic students, Amber Legassi, Emily Cannon, and Shannon Legassi to return to the stage area so that Associate Principal John Leary and Principal Donald Woodworth may recognize them as the academic leaders of the class of 2010. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our class essayist, Amber Legassi. Our class salutatorian, Emily Cannon. And our 2010 Timberlane Regional High School class valedictorian, Shannon Legassi.
It is also my pleasure to announce the recipient of this year's Outstanding Senior Award as selected by our faculty and administration. The Outstanding Senior Award is presented annually to a graduating senior who best embodies the ideals of scholarship, character, and service. This student is well respected by both her peers and our faculty. Over the last four years, she has set a standard of excellence in the classroom as well as in our community that exemplifies the best of Timberlane. This year's Outstanding Senior Award goes to Kimberly Andre. At this time, it is my honor to welcome to the podium the leader of our school district, the superintendent of schools, Mr. Richard LaSalle. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome family and friends. Last year's graduation, I spoke about optimism. Last year, it was hard to talk about optimism. The economy, and it rained the whole week leading up to graduation, as well on graduation day and the forecast was dismal nationally and in terms of the weather. As if willed by the 400 graduates of the class of 2009, and maybe more so by Mr. Woodworth, the sun came out. Optimism prevailed. This year, the sun is out and is shining brightly on the class of 2010. This year, the economy is brighter. <laughs> and there is a developing sense of national optimism. But. There is one danger that I think still lingers for all of you. That danger I call compliance. I see in the, American, in the American culture today too much willingness to be compliant, to comply. Webster's Dictionary, and for those of you that are well connected, Webster's Dictionary is where we used to look words up before Wikipedia, defines confines compliance as conformity, accordance, as in compliance with orders, pretty good thing. Cooperation or obedience, compliance with the law is expected of all, pretty good thing. But there are two additional definitions of compliance. The act of conforming, acquiescing, and yielding. A tendency to yield readily to others, especially in a weak and subservient way. Simply put, compliance is doing what is expected by others. And what is wrong with that? For graduates of Timberlane Regional High School, it is simply not enough. Compliance is always entering through the indoor and exiting through the outdoor. I challenge you to open doors for others, figuratively and literally. Compliance is going off to college and studying hard and doing well. I challenge you to mentor a struggling classmate. Compliance is staying away from drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. I challenge you to intervene with a friend who may be making bad decisions. Harass of smoking. Smoking killed half the people I've cared about in my lifetime. Compliance is making time for family and friends. Make time for family and friends, but make time for someone who's alone. Loneliness kills. Compliance by itself makes you, makes you good to no one but yourself. Whoever notices a student or an employee who sits quietly complying doing just what is expected. Compliance makes you invisible. It makes you small. I challenge you to be visible, bigger than yourself, by doing more than is what is expected of you and making a difference. Leave your mark. But please, over the next few weeks, be compliant with the driving laws. We don't want that mark to be a skid mark. Stay safe and have fun. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce now the school board chairperson, Mrs. Liz Costa. Mrs. Costa will deliver the school board address. I brought my own speech this year. I learned. Good evening, graduates, family, friends, and esteemed colleagues. 
You have completed another milestone in your life. The many experiences you have, you will have walked away with, good or bad, have been pounder as you stay on the course, as you follow your own path. Whether you are entering college, the armed forces, or the workforce, you will make mistakes along the way. Acknowledge them, learn th from them, and walk in, move on. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Helen Keller, who at a very young age became deaf and blind, spoke from a lifetime of hard work, reflection, persistence, and ultimately the focus for which she needed to be successful by walking on her own path. She overcame her personal struggles and incredible odds with much determination to become a bright and sensitive woman who fought for the betterment of others. She is truly a symbol of triumph over adversity. Adversity is all around us. It is important for you to look at what you are capable of changing and striving to make a difference. Robert Frost speaks to us in his poem, The Road Not Taken, with two roads diverged in wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. You, the graduates of the class of 2010, take the road less traveled. Become the leaders and not the followers of tomorrow. Make a difference on the path you choose. Congratulations to you, the class of 2010. At this time, I ask Associate Principal Mr. John Leary, Assistant Principal Mr. Robert Dawson, Assist Assistant Principal Mrs. Maria Dinola, and Assistant Principal Mr. Sean Kiley, to prepare to introduce the graduating class of 2010. <laughs> class advisors, Mrs. Mim Trisdale and Mrs. Carolyn Morse, Please prepare to guide your class to the podium. As the principal of Timberlane Regional High School, it is my privilege and duty to present this class of 2010 to the Timberlane Regional School Board and the Superintendent of Schools. And I certify that each member of the class receiving a diploma today has completed the requirements established by the State of New Hampshire and the Timberlane Board of Education. We will now confer diplomas. Carolyn. 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 No, you need to bring them. Bring them. We can't give them if they don't come. <laughs> <clears throat> That's what you do. Not yet. No, nope. wait for what Good. Shannon Lagasse. Emily is being presented with her diploma by her mother and district employee, Sandra Cannon. Emily Watson Cannon. Amber? Amber R. Legacy. <laughs> Emily Margaret Korb. <laughs> Callie Lynn Skeena. Holly Elizabeth Angie.
Kimberly is being presented with her diploma by her mother and district employee, Corinne Andrade. Wait. Kimberly Nicole Andrade. Ryan Michael Cullen. <clears throat> James Christopher Gray. Julie Kathleen Guzman. Kara Lynn Hatfield. Kara Cars. Ryan John Lynch. Ryan Richard Lynch. Brittany is being presented with her diploma by her mother and district employee, Susan Peters. Wait. Brittany Orion Peters. <laughs> Nolan. Joseph Russell. Sarah Elizabeth Matson. Courtney Yell. Jacqueline Francis. Ephraimson. Mackenzie Lee Hines. Kendall Michelle Hill. Kelsey Dawn Hutchinson. Wait, wait. Rachel Elise Burgard. Joshua C. Coates. Noel Claire Girigosian. Brittany is being presented with her diploma by her mother and district employee, Linda Hakimi. Brittany N. Hakimi. Victoria Lynn Hastings. Travis Anthony Nason. David Richard Phillips. Kyle Alexander Roberts. Laura Brittany Urich. <laughs> Haley Elaine Vincent. Phonetically, it's G A W V. <laughs> Adam James Cunningham. Er, er. 
Acacia L. Kreidermarker. J. Michaela Russell. Jessica Evelyn Barrett. Melissa Marie Bresnahan. Ashley Nicole Burnett. Paige Alexandra Caruso. Taylor Nicole Cephalo. Madeline Elaine Corrier. Ryan L. DeHarness. Kara Christina DeShaw. Aaron Catherine Donnelly. Jordan Donovan. Catherine M. Gardella. Theodore David Galesian. Jenna Caitlin Gustafson. Peter John Guy. Craig A. Holland. Carrie Lynn Hunkel. Margaret Catherine Jackson. Catherine Mary Casala. Molly is being presented with her diploma by her mother and district employee, Priscilla Lane. Wait. Molly Catherine Lane. <laughs> Patrick James Linehan. <laughs> Alexandra Marie McKinnon. Shannon Elaine McGuire. Sorry. That's okay. Jesse Mailhot. <laughs> Jordan D. Marchetto. <laughs> Casey James McDonald. Jared Paul Hunt McCalligat. Tyler Zachary Melvin. Rochelle Marie Missouri. Joseph Leo Morin. <clears throat> D. 
Deanna is being presented with her diploma by her mother and district employee, Mary Ann Pappas. Deanna Marie Pappas. Nicole Marie Paralisi. Molly Rochelle Pevna. Kate Jacqueline Alice Powell. Lindsay Virginia Ramakaitis. Melanie Page Richard. <laughs> Megan Page Real. <laughs> Douglas Stephen Robichaud. Jonathan Stephen Shepherd. Kelly N. Smith. Nicholas George Smith. Valerie M. Stein. Brian Sullivan. Megan K. Sullivan. Nathan Tyne. Christina Rose Valcourt. Matthew Paul Walsh. Samantha Weedman. Nicole Sharon Weir. Stella Zerolitis. Molly Kathleen Adams. Derek M. Allen. Abigail Morgan Alper. Lucas James Alper. Caitlin Marie Altabelli. Felicia Ann Amaral. Kelsey Michelle. Anderson, <laughs> Timothy Robert Anderson, <laughs> Kevin H. Baker, <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Drew Edward Balanoff. Angela C. Balchunas.
Erin Amelia Ball. Leif William Bannister. Tegan Marie Burrill. Anthony Joseph Belair. Jacob James Monroe Bellwood. Kyle P. Benson. Mercedes R. Bernatches. Catherine Ann Bissonette. Brianna Marie Blake. Miranda Lynn Blanchett. Alicia Marie Bover. Alyssa Katie Bolduck. Timothy John Boomhauer. Emily Jade Botting. Louise Amy Botting. Matthew J. Bouchard. Benjamin Boucher. Christina Ashley Butot. Laura Ann Britton. Davis R. Brown. Kira May Brown. Marcus Gregory Bruzzese. Joshua Eric Buckley. Brittany May Buttery. Nicole Marie Calouette. Sarah Claire Calder. Erin Viola Campbell. Ryan Michael Kerrigan. Christopher J. Cirillo.
Alexandra Erica Chadwick. Emily A. Como. Sarah J. Como. Ethan Robert Comerford. John J. Connolly. Brianna Marie Consentito, um, Consentino, pardon me. Cassandra Lynn Cook. Amanda Nicole Corey. Nicole Sarah Corey. Eric Christopher Cormier. Anthony John Crudale. Caitlin Daigle. Thomas Robert Daly. Megan L. Daroska. It's my card, but it's Taylor, it's my middle name. Danielle Taylor, yeah, Davies. Danielle Taylor Davies. Miles M. Deshane. Krista Jean DeLuca. Adriana Marie Desmond. Monique Elizabeth DeRoche. Jessica Dawn De Bartolomeo. Samantha L. Demond. Peter J. DiNardo. Matthew Paul Dion. Kyle DePerry. Patrick. Patrick DePerry. Katie Marie Donovan. Christopher Michael Dow. Danielle Nicole Drucker. Sandra Lee Dubois. Johanna Dupoy. Jeffrey Michael Jajitz. Richard Peter Early the Fourth. Thomas Eastman. Woo! 
Lindsay Marie Elias. Sira Maria Esposito. Cameron Taylor Fagan. John Michael Faya. Matthew James Faya. Ryan Kyle Ferguson. Daniel is being presented with his diploma by his mother and district employee, Joyce, Joyce Ferreira. Daniel P. Ferreira. Amy Catherine Ferullo. Jacob Daniel Fisher. Danielle Nicole Fortin. Ronald Fournier the third. Zachary Fox. Craig M. Fram. Marcella Nicole Francoeur. Jennifer Lynn Funai. Derek Jacob Fury. Angelina Rose Ann Gagliardi. Alexandria Mackenzie Gagney. Robert Gagnon, Jr. <laughs> Ashley E. Gamlin. <laughs> Brittany Jo Gowett. <laughs> Edward John Gilman. Devin J. Gorey. Wesley Ryan Grew. Christopher Michael Garino. Rachel Kathleen Guerin. Tammy Irene Guerrero. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Hamilton. Presenting Alyssa with her diploma is her mother and district employee, Tony Ann Hamilton. Thomas Arthur Hamilton. Thomas! 
Charles Arthur Hargreaves. <laughs> Kenneth Anthony Harubin. <laughs> Craig William Haskell. Ryan Hayward. Cameron John Hendershot. Can you say my middle name too? Dominic. Andrew Dominic Hernandez. Abby Elizabeth Hess. Matthew Paul Hevish. <laughs> Josiah R. Hill. <laughs> Jacob Holt. Callie Ann Heward. Eric Hurley. Robert J. Acapucci III. Merritt Dunklin. Inglis Gregory A. Jackson Ian Maxwell James Samantha Nicole Jones Aaron W. Judson. Jacob H. Kaplan. Austin C. Corrales. Brandon Richard Kazeki. Rebecca Patricia Keen. Lauren Rachel Kelly. Rachel Marie Kimball. Joshua O. King. Michaela Lee Kinsvader. Leanne Sarah Kinsler Swan. Mitchell Kliska. Amanda Patricia Knight. Daniel P. Cuss. Gregory David Komornik. Nicholas Lewis Lang. Nicole Ann Langdon. Claire. 
Svetlana Patricia Lange. Michelle Elizabeth Lapierre. Brittany J. Laverrier. Davin Larson. Krista Ann Laycock. Presenting Krista with her diploma is her mother and district employee, Brenda Laycock. Aaron Robert Lee. Kristen Lenars. Bianca Lynn Lassard. Christopher David Lewis. Jesse A. Locasio. Dylan Brian Lockhart. Stacy Lauren Lucier. Tyler Patrick McLean. Blake Ryan McLeod. Christy Leah McLeod. Megan Eileen Mahar. Alyssa C. Mahoney. Ryan Patrick Mahoney. Kara Lynn Malenfant. Alyssa Kate Manfredis. Nicolette Helena Mannion. Alexander William Martin. Jenny Teresa Martin. Michael G. Martineau. Jace Tyler Martinez. Jessica K. Mascola. Presenting Jessica with her diploma is her father and TRSD school board member, Michael Mascola. Terrence John Matatal. Megan Kathleen McGuire. Alan Douglas McCormick. Chelsea Marie Mattinson.
Ryan Timothy McLaughlin. Tasha Emily Medanis. Kyle Steven Meisner. Skyler Menke. Jason Andrew Merrick. Jacqueline P. Middlemiss. Sydney Alana Miller. Dawn Menard. Bradley John Molowitz. Samantha Lee Morrison. Ashley Brienne Morse. Anthony Lewis Munoz. Nicholas Anthony Mura. Caitlin Ann Murdoch. Samuel F. Murray. Julie A. Newcomb. Tyler Nickel. Michelle C. Nicola. Nicholas Lewis Novaris. Nicholas is being presented his diploma by his mother and district employee, Elaine Novaris. <laughs> Brianne O'Connor. Kaylee Morgan Griffin Willett. Bethany Lynn Pagel. Nicole Ann Paris. Brittany Elizabeth Park. Tiana Jean Paralisi. James C. Patton. Alexander Robert Pelikowitz. Luke Xavier Perkins. Jeffrey Scott Pettengill, Jr. Kyle Mario Pinero.
Chelsea Marie Pond. Peter Posey. Timothy Carl Powers. Allison Renee Price. Elizabeth Marie Quigley. Stephen William Rette, Jr. Ashley Reed. Alyssa Nicole Remy. Stephanie M. Reynolds. Christina Ryder. Angelica Priscilla Roby. Kelsey Elizabeth Rocca Piori. Nicole Rothwell. Alfred V. Russo III. David John Royce, Jr. Patriot Rustani. Andrew D. Russick. Kelsey Ann Sadowitz. Joshua Safi. Brittany Nicole Sampson. Devin R. Sanford. Jake Joseph Sarno. <laughs> Rachel Marie Savageo. <laughs> Ryan Sawyer. Jamie Marie Scalzo. Rebecca Schneider. Matthew Sheehan. Haley P. Shore. Michael John Samard. Paul Singster. Andrea Lynn Smart.
Alex Smith. Jonathan R. Smith. Anthony R. Soma. Taylor Lauren Spiewak. Jason C. St. Jean. Walter Craig Stacy. Randall M. Stanowitz. Megan J. Stewart. Cody Stickney. Christina Marie Sweeney. Aaron K. Swift. David T. Swillam. Dylan Tapley. Matthew Lewis Tavares. Taylor Danielle Thayer. Marina the Burge. Ashley Ray Theralt. Jared Tebow. Candace Patience Thompson. Joseph J. Thompson. <laughs> Stephanie Athena Tortorello. Evan Michael Toll. Jared William Tolson. Matthew Clayton Tracy. Daniel James Travellini. Daniel is being presented his diploma by his mother and district employee, Christine Travellini. Justin T. Trodella. Edward Trout, Jr. Joshua Tulchinski. Kevin J. 
Joseph Vadabon Kaur. Norman Vadabon Kaur. Shannon Valley. William John Valvanus. Connor Garrett Van Gennep. Hunter C. Van Rye. Scott Thomas Veleka. Risha Lee Walls. Kayla Marie Weymouth. Adam White. Erica Sharon Wheeler. Michael Stephen Withy. Michael is being presented his diploma by his mother and Timberlane School Board member, Lisa Withy. Zachary A. Wolf. Last but by no means least, Matthew Lawrence Wright. Wow, my hand is sore from all that shaking. I call upon the senior executive co-presidents, Callie Skeena and Emily Korb. Together, they will deliver the closing remarks. Wow, we finally did it. Class of 2010, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. These words were said by famous novelist Mang, I want out of my high school graduation is for every person to leave here with a dream. We must dream about tomorrow in the hopes that given opportunities will assist us on paving to the road to our personal success in life. There are a thousand things that can be compared to graduation and some of them may be pretty accurate, but none of them can come close to the reality of what graduation really is. Graduation is supposed to be a happy time. It has been known throughout the past as a time where we should celebrate, where we will take yet another step in this road that we call life. But most importantly, it is also a time where we leave our lessons behind and become the adults we are expected to be. With this stage of formal education complete, what do, <laughs> We ask ourselves, what now, what next? And whatever the answer may be, when we move on, we will find a new series of problems desperately seeking new solutions. Next year, we will be thrown into a society where many of us will feel as though we are starting over, that we are freshmen again. By starting over, we've been told that all the things that break you become the things that make you strong. It is the only way to learn from your mistakes and simply grow up. Greatness is not where we stand, but in what direction we are moving. We must sail sometimes with the wind and sometimes against it. 
Life is about overcoming our own obstacles and attaining the knowledge we have taken in these past years and put to use in the real world. Yes, we will all look back 20 years from now and regret some of the things we may have done or be repentant about not putting in the effort we should. But the pages in our own novel will still turn. And though we may have not wanted to admit it then, we will be grateful when we look back on these years. Our time here at Timberlane has been quite a stimulating and rocky era. We put up a battle through four years of Spirit Week events, and we are the first graduating class to experience homecoming and hold a co-presidency. <laughs> We have won multiple state championships and performed in many outstanding musicals. We've arranged a semi, prom, and cruise that will be forever remembered as some of the best moments we've spent here at Timberlane. With all these memories to look back on, we can truly say that our senior year has been remarkable, and today has become the end of our journey. We are both so appreciative of coaches and teachers we've had throughout our years here at Timberlane. You've truly made our time here surpassing. We've been blessed with families who have supported us throughout all of our decisions. On behalf of the Senior Executive Committee, we would like to thank our class advisors, Mrs. Morse and Mrs. Trisdale. <laughs> Along with Ms. Skeena for their timeless contributions to making our four years the best it can possibly be. On a personal note, I would like to thank Coach Ryan for an unforgettable season with a team I'll never forget. I love you guys. I would like for everyone to leave here with this quote. Any change, any loss does not make us victims. Others can shake you, surprise you, and in life many will disappoint you, but they cannot stop you from acting. Taking the situation you're presented with and moving on, no matter where you are in life, no matter what the situation may be, you can do, always do something. You're always given a choice, and the choice we are leaving you all with is whether or not you will use your own power. You have the power to succeed and live your life to its fullest potential. And we can only hope every one of you will achieve that goal. Best of luck and thank you. Congratulations, class of 2010. Hold on just a second. We're gonna have you do that in a minute. All right. Have them stand up. Have them stand up. Can everybody please stand up, all the graduates? At this, At this time, we would, we would like everyone to remove your tassels from your right to your left. <laughs> Faculty, please line, line up now for the exit of the graduates. Graduates, congratulations. <laughs> I want you to tell them this after we get Mr. Graduates, please follow the direction of your class advisors as you proceed and exit towards the concession stands. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay clear of the track until after all the part participants in the ceremony have exited. Then please, your, then please join your graduates behind the concession stand on the softball field. Thank you.